Don't sit at front of the stage if you aren't tipping. <laughs> Strippers of Reddit, what are some things you want people to know when going to a strip club? Oh damn, my boy is back for another story time, so good to see you. Andrew missed you, dap me up bro. Just kidding, this is a video, but I'll take virtual dap. Or even better, you can subscribe and like the video. Really helps me out my dude. If you do, I'll give you access to Belle Delphine's only fans. Let's cut the chit chat and get on with the stories. Don't take photos. Not even on Snapchat. I have a few stripper acquaintances friends, and they tell me they sometimes rub hand sanitizer all over themselves after a particularly gross customer. Make sure you clarify you want one dance. This way they will ask if you actually want another or just dance until Visa gets a boner. Do not fold your dollar bill and flick it like a field goal between their legs. Got kicked out quickly for that. Not a stripper, but I feel this thread is going to have a ton of conflicting information. There are very few general rules of strip clubs, and the rest depend on the area and club you're in. I travel for work so I've been to quite a few. I've been to some where if you breathe the wrong way, a bouncer will be all over you. I've seen others that are practically a brothel. Very situational. Do not wear sweetpants. Edit. Dancers can feel every inch of your junk when you wear sweatpants basketball shorts, and they don't want to feel like they're having sex with you. They're doing a striptease, not a stripless. Be certain to allow the tile to fully dry, then apply a coat of sealer. For best results, four thin coats of wax is recommended. This advice is for legitimate strippers. I don't know why men do this, but please don't lick me, I'm just trying to do my job, and my job does not entail being licked. I'm also gross and sweaty and I'm not prepared to have my butt cheek, face cheek, my belly button, ek licked. Normally I love my job, it can be a lot of fun, but please please just treat me like a human being. Also this has only happened once, but please don't try to insert your money into my asshole. It's super rude don't fall in love with the girls. My friend went nuts over a very nice stripper and spent much of a small inheritance buying dances and drinks. Kept asking her out and she kept noping on it with the usual we can't date the customers line. He kept asking nicely. One night she must have felt sorry for him because she took him in the VIP room and sat him down. Standing in front of him with nothing on but a pair of FMPs, she told him, look at me. I look good enough to make a very nice living just taking my clothes off. Do you honestly think for one second that I don't have a boyfriend? He was crushed. Strip clubs are a lot more fun if you just appreciate the fact that it's a ridiculous show and that the girls are working. They aren't interested in you, but they are still people. If you don't take it so seriously, it can be a fun place to hang out with some friends. One time I was at a club with some friends and one of the girls came up and tried to get us to buy a dance. None of us were interested, but she hung out and chatted for a few minutes. She was cool and liked sci-fi, so I made her a deal. Instead of a dance, I told her I would pay for a dance if she took my friend to the back and explained the plot of Star Wars to him as he stubbornly refused to watch it. They left for like 10 minutes, and then he came back and was able to walk through basically the entire plot, with me tipping her on major points. We all had a good laugh, and my friend now knows about Star Wars, best dance money I've spent so far. I have a question for the strippers of Reddit as well, if there is a strip club that has a particularly good deal on a steak and shrimp combo, is it rude of me to go only for the food? Nah not really, best to do so during daytime, if a girl walks up to you, simply and respectfully state that you aren't interested in any dances, but if they want to stay and chat, that is cool too. Lots of these clubs are notable for being decent steakhouses, so it's not like you aren't bringing them business anyway, so no need to feel bad. But if you are done eating and straight up watching the stage, while also telling women you have no money or don't want to dance, may make some upset as seeing you are more loitering for the show and not participating. Edit. And there it is, my top comment is on club etiquette. Stay classy gentlemen. Had a close call in Ankara, Turkey a few years back. I went to a burlesque show. The girls were mostly naked, but it was a different scene, more like a stage with six girls with tassels on their tits, 
who would then mingle with the men sitting down for dinner. One of the girls noticed that I was American, and she had a very concerned look on her face, and she pulled me aside to warn me that this place isn't like the strip clubs in America, here you are charged by the minute. And she told me about Americans who would unknowingly rack up massive bills that they could not pay, leading them to get beat up severely or worse by the bouncers. I got up and left, and in fact, I was on a timer, and it took them 5 minutes to tally up my bill, which came to more than $100 just for about 25 minutes in the club drinking one beer. I used to work at a strip club, not a dancer, and the girls would cut the strings off their tampons so it wasn't visible to the outside world. Sometimes they get lost up there, and they look to one of the only sober women present to fish it out. Was always great fun. Also the girls had code words. If a guy offered to buy them a drink, if the girl ordered a vodka and lemonade, it meant they wanted water and would rather have the money from the drink given to them. At $9 each drink, the girls made a nice little sum on the side. We had envelopes for all of the girls where the money would go into. The guy thought he was buying her a drink at $9, and that's what he paid, only he was paying it directly to her via us at the bar, and she was having a lemonade or water. General rules are pretty much as follows. Stay off the stage, don't touch their money, ask before you touch a dancer, if a bouncer tells you to do something comply. There are lots of other rules that may or may not apply, but they will vary by establishment. If you follow those golden rules you should be okay though. This one confuses me. I went to a club in a state with strict no skin to skin touching. This is why the customers had to be in real shirts and long pants. The dancer was trying some serious acrobatic skills and asked me to hold her, my hands were planted next to my legs, so I thought this was a trick. She then kinned aside, grabbed my arms, placed one on her ass and the other on her back, and said hold on, and she went upside down. Pretty sure my nose penetrated while she pretended she was in Australia. I thought for sure the police would be coming for me afterwards. Best dance ever. I bounced at a strip club for a few years, and I have seen so many things people do that make me want to high-five them in the face with a folding chair. Bring money and tip the girls, don't have money then don't go to the strip bar. No they are not going to sleep with you, but they are going to be wickedly sexy for you which is wonderful, so sit back and enjoy the fantasy, and keep your hands and tongue and other body parts to yourself, until the ride has come to a complete stop. Buying the girl a drink is usually a waste of time, she will have a drink the bartender makes that is virgin, she's not going to get drunk and find you sexy through beer goggles. Instead buy yourself the drink and give the money to the girl, she wants it more than drinks anyway. Take a bath before going out to any bar, but especially a strip club. That girl is in her underwear or less and touching you, don't make it icky. Tip her. Yes I said that earlier but it bears repeating, tip your stripper. The girls there are often very friendly, and yes it has a lot to do with getting you to spend money, but the fact is they are hella fun to hang out with as well, so have fun and be friendly with them, they will reciprocate the positive vibes I promise. If you wear sweetpants in public you need to rethink your life choices, and the strip club is not the right place for you. I'm the Durr. Of communications for the world's largest gentlemen's club Sapphire in Las Vegas. I've thought about doing an AMA. Here's some good things to note about Vegas clubs. 1. Most clubs offer free admission and a free limo party bus ride to their place if you call them directly. If you take a cab Uber hotel limo or outside transportation you will always pay cover. All strip clubs in town give outside transportation a kickback for bringing customers to the club so they can't waive your cover because they're already paying the cabs etc for bringing you. 2. All entertainers e. Strippers pay a house fee to work at the club. It ranges from $50 win $150 a night depending on when they arrive. If they don't make that money on shift they are still responsible for paying that money to the club. 3. Floor dances are not the same price as VIP dances. And entertainers are independent contractors they do not have to dance for anyone if they don't want to. The club cannot force anyone to dance for money or for free, hence the club cannot offer free dances. 4. Nothing is more frustrating for the dancers than the guy standing at the bar sitting at a table who is more than happy to watch but does not want to spend money. 
Even if you are not getting dances if you are spending time at the club watching, every once in a while throw a little money on the stage to show your appreciation. At the same turn if you spend time talking to a dancer it's not uncommon to tip her for her time. It can be by buying her a drink or with a little cash. It lets her know that although you are not getting a dance, you appreciated the time and company she spent with her. Thanks for watching. What did you think of the story time? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any more story times.